Alright, so welcome to a different kind of video. I'm going to be doing a build epilogue, or I guess a video document, of certain projects and integrations I'm going to be doing. I just got done watching Mr. Nathan's mile long on his Centaur, which is a beautiful Striterion, uh, Strife and Centurion integration, and I got inspired to make a video, which lately has been weird. I won't really get into that because it's boring as all hell and nobody really wants to hear that. Sorry about background noise or people in my house watching TV. So I'm just going to be recording some footage of me working on stuff. Uh, right now we have a Straven that the top carry handle of the Raven got chopped off and a portion of a broken raider was added. And we have parts of a secret strike that were cut off and shaped into the strife here. And right now I'm going to be doing a final sand and a final file before I actually do put primer on. I'll have to see if my primer sticks because it's a sandable primer, meaning I have to sand it to actually get smooth or paintable. So I'm going to work on some stuff. I'm going to be showing what I did recently actually. I just got done closing all the gaps for the integration. They don't look amazing. Um, this right here has been filled and covered. It got pretty flat and obviously some filler was added. I did a little bit of overall sanding but I do obviously need to finish it. I just got started at the end here and I realized that the little fins here actually I don't have a stock strife to show it. Little things in here I decided to get rid of and get a more stylistic look. I won't be doing that to the end of this raven stock because that's a pretty noticeable detail at looking at a raven. You obviously can see the little diamonds back here. So I won't be removing those. Uh, the process I've been going for is to get a relatively large file and the heater is starting to kick on. That's great. And just going back and forth, putting the edge of the file on this ridge here, and not really pushing my file like that, but trying to keep it straight and with as little pressure as possible to get a nice flat line. Because if you end up going like this, you dig into this area here, making it more dipped in. And we can do this part. And I find if you grab onto the file a lot more closer to the area you're going to file, it removes that more easily. So I'll come back to you when I filed this off. Okay, so I just got this all filed down. I'm going to get the rest of these triangles off this weird ledge. And obviously with this, the same file. And then I'm going to be taking some 120 grit sandpaper and sanding that down, and then taking 400 to make it the final sand for the primer to stick. So I'm going to sand all this down and come back to you when I obviously have this all sanded up, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so just finished filing off this little triangles there, and in my opinion it does increase the quality and look of that. So we're going to zoom out again. and my camera mount loves to wiggle. So now we're just left with a nice clean shell. I'm going to start sanding from here all the way back. Uh, I'm gonna put some music on and do this because I don't want you guys to sit through me talking while I'm sanding. And I don't really know how to fast forward through footage yet. So I'll just show you when I have most of the sanding done. The handle paint is going to be very hard to get off and so is the stock on the Raven paint because it's actually pretty thick. Um, recently, I've got to sanding a different strife because the paint was all kind of at whack. It was all kind of wavy. And I've been working on this all day. And so I'm in a pretty big sanding mood. 
As you can see, I haven't done the handle or the bottom section yet because it's just been very tedious to try and sand everything and not burn off an edge. It's a hard skill to learn not to burn an edge off while sanding, but after you do that to a couple shells, it becomes pretty easy. Uh, more on this when I obviously make something of it. So, like I said, I have all the body work done. I was thinking of putting a long shot front gun in the front here. But after some looking at it, I tried to do what Mr. Nathan did with his jackal build of putting the front gun here and having the little... I wish I had a front gun that was stuck. The little nub, like, against here so I could have a nice grip. But it ended up being a little too long and I didn't really commit to it, obviously, because I didn't cut the stripe shell. And the way he cut it is he cut around the motor cover on the strife. And obviously mine has a secret strike on there. So I feel like that's enough detail about this build. Um, it started off as a Raven that I bought with a deal with a cross bolt from a person online. And then the strife I bought from a real life friend that I he didn't need him anymore and I bought it for a pretty good price. Uh, this Raider broke on me. Can't exactly remember what broke, but it ended up in the shell bin. And when I chopped this rail off, I knew that I needed to do something with it. And so I tacked the Raider bit on and the Secret Strike I found at a Goodwill. Or it was the Craigslist slot, I do not remember. And just stuck it on there because I saw Mr. Nathan's Barracuda build, which is an awesome build. He recently got done painting it and it looks beautiful. I don't know if he's made a video on it yet because I don't want to spoil it. But definitely check out Mr. Nathan's channel. I will obviously leave a link to his channel in the description. So I will come back to you when this is completely sanded. And I'll talk a bit more about what the future for this Straven is. I don't remember where I left off on this, but... Came back and everything... I believe I talked about sanding this. And I did sand it. And I did a little bit more than sand it. So on this side, I did some overall sanding. I tried to get as much as this grip as I feasibly can get at the moment. Uh, this stock was pretty hard, but I managed to pull through it. The insides here are still shiny, so I have to do that. Not too much going on this side. On this side, some major things happened. I carved out this battery tray and this battery tray. And obviously, I had to do some weird fittings. Uh, this is all I got smoothed out up here. And I did get this sorted out. Uh, if you recall in the package that Nightwing sent me, he gave me this battery to put in a strife that I wired up to a different battery. And I made it so this battery could fit in here. Now it's actually a pretty thin battery. Uh, it will work with the stock battery door, so that's pretty good. I'll have to remove this connector and put a XT60 connector on it because that's what I'll probably use and I don't really have this connector on my charger, my LiPo charger. And then this got carved out. I still need to make a plate for it on the inside here. Let's see. All right. If I open this, there's a certain way to open this guy, because it's obviously epoxy puttied on the in and out. Here we got some just blotches of putty for stability. I obviously have to add some more on this side and put some up here. I did finish the Raider rail on this side, and I still have to put some more putty on this side to the Raider rail. And obviously some overall putty. So that's going to do that. For this episodic build log. Hopefully I get to do more of these. It's all up to you guys. If you guys want to see them, please tell me about it, because I don't know yet. Do you guys want to see more about this build? I can't really do too much in the winter time because obviously I cannot paint, like I've expressed a thousand times. So I guess that's the end of this video. If you liked it, tell me in the comment section below. Anyways, have a good rest of your night.